Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Satra Supasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, 24 years of age. He's now at an 80 centimeters tall and very limited at 57 pounds. He holds a record of 62 wins, 25 losses, and one draw. He is three times IFBA World Championship gold medalist and former WPMF World Champion, representing Iran. Let's hear it for Reza. opponent fighting of the blue corner 27 years of age he's down at 89 centimeters tall and very limited at 56.7 pounds he holds a record of 28 wins eight losses and one draw he is south american muay thai champion and former attack fight champion and four times brazilian muay thai champion representing brazil the champion for Main event. Reza losing his last fight by knockout against the Rajnamna Stadium champion Joe Ryan, looking to avenge that loss, looking to get back into the winning winning column here against Gabriel Pereira. <laughs> Reza said that he was uh, sick before the Joe Ryan fight, so he couldn't perform to the best of his abilities. Gabriel Brown looking to throw that left kick. Gabriel looking so much bigger tonight. Of course, a little Ooh. bit taller. Ooh, big low kick there coming from both fighters. Good left kick to the body there by Razor. Oh, tempted elbow there by Gabriel Pereira. That might have just stuck through the guard. But again, Razor targeting that lead left leg of Gabriel. And it's working. Of course, Razor, very experienced, very technical. It seems like he was missing a little bit of that killer instinct in his previous fight, so this is going to be interesting, especially now you can see both fighters trading shots like this. There's no doubt about it, Razor is a very, very talented fighter. Mm. Oh, oh, he's hurt! Took that elbow. Left kick to the body there by Razor. Both fighters going back and forth in this one. An exciting fight already here in round number one. He needs to be careful though. You can't be trading shots oh. like this with Gabriel. Good combination though from Razor. I like that. Oh! There by Razor. Oh! Power coming from Razor and those kicks. Good timing there. And again, three times in a row. That's where he was going. Sometimes we've seen in the past where if things are not going right for Razor, he's going to drop. But when his mind's in the right place, he's so talented, he really is. So far, he's having a great fight. Gabriel not really blocking oh, those left, left kicks. Up. Big left up there from Razor. And Razor completely outworking Gabriel oh, right, right now. Oh, right high kick there. And we've seen Razor taking those head kicks a few times and to yeah start backing off for some reason You're right he's hurt big Whoa. right hand there from Reza. back and forth we go in this one nice left kick to the body tempted right high kick once again there by Reza. nice low kick going reply by gabriel another tough round to score here on rws experience paying up there with a takedown from Reza. Good round for Reza so far. Good round for both fighters, yeah. actually. Difficult one to judge, but Reza, of course, the more active of the two. Oh, I big left kick that. again. But maybe the biggest strike, mm. the most significant coming from Gabriel. Yeah. All, All right. right. Judges for this one. Great fight, though. Two Warriors going at it in round number one there. 
Of course, open scoring here in RWS. We will get to see how the judges determine that first oh, round. Man. Of course, it's it's been a big question. We've seen Reza over and over. Like I said, he's fighting spirit. He's killing instinct sometimes isn't there like aaron mentioned before when everything is good it's good but when he goes bad can he still keep his mind in the game well let's find out so far so good for reza right hand for body left high kick there by Reza. swinging <laughs> right hook there from gabriel Ooh. good movement there from reza See Gabriel pouring it on here in round number two, which he needs to do, of course. He is down on the scorecard. Yeah, Gabriel needs to stay close, he needs to be aggressive. Oh, and look at that! Again, taking him down like we saw at the end of round number one. But the referee is not, not really fun sure. Of that. Yeah, I'm not really sure why. Razor sticking to the left kick. Woo! Good one, two, three, followed by a low kick. Yeah, two low kicks there from Gabriel. Blocked the third though, did Reza. Yes. Gabriel going in with big elbows into the clinch. Of course, being the taller fighter, it's easy to cross that knee up into the body. Tempted elbow Whoa. there by Gabriel Pereira. Much more aggressive here in round number two. Yeah, and he needs to be. Oh. Then we said it in the first round, Reza outworking his opponent, but the heavy shots coming from Gabriel. Good left kick there from Reza, and again. Yeah, very good. Going, target in the body. Mm. Smart this by Reza. You can see his eyes are locked on the body of Gabriel, digging in a left hook. And in that position, you just grab a hold and make sure that Gabriel isn't throwing more knees. Better now by Reza. Started the round slowly. Oh, almost taking Gabriel Pereira off his feet that time. Left kick. Yeah, nothing doing really in the middle. Good right knee. Two oh, good right yeah. knees. Three good right knees here by Gabriel Pereira. Four. Yeah, Reza five. can't just be waiting for the ref to separate them because obviously here in Ratchet, and then if they're working, the ref is going to let it, let them keep going. Back in the clinch again. That's oh, better by Reza. Beautiful. Much better. Not just standing there and allowing Pereira to throw knees. Pereira really got up from the canvas a little bit slower than I saw him do. Yeah. Maybe he's starting to tire. The accumulation of those body shots despite be taking his toll. Oh, oh. Back in the clinch again. Reza complaining. Oh, the head plays with him. Yeah. But he did anything that wrong. No, he wrong. didn't at all. Did he allowed? And perhaps that could cost him the round of that positioning in the clinch. Very close round again, the second one. Reza looking a little bit tired though. But confident the way that he got, went back to the corner. His mm. hand raised. Gabriel Pereira, not so much. Looking very tired. And didn't raise Sitting his in the corner. His condition has been an issue in the past. But when we when they went back to the corner, it looked like Gabriel Pereira was breathing a yeah, lot more absolutely. heavily than Reza was. Absolutely. Well, recovery time is also a part of the condition. So let's see how both fighters have recovered. Either way, gentlemen round. Win the fight, win the round. Oh, win the round, win the fight, sorry. Good right there kicks go. here by Reza. And maybe Gabriel Pereira has been instructed to go to the knees to clinch up because it didn't look like that Reza was enjoying himself in there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's Reza, definite. target in the head. Yeah. He might go back to the body. He was working for me. Oh, no. Oh, it's come for a low blow. It wasn't intentional for sure. Well, not anymore. I guess he's fine now. All right. Reza going back to the high kick. Oh, good kick there. It's oh, good, up, good. Oh. good hands here by Pereira. Void by the fact that he won round number two, mm. no doubt about it. He's got more energy now back in his veins. 
Good right hand there from Reza. Yeah. Trying to take down his opponent. Can't just yet holding the ropes. Well, the fight has been going back and forth. This round is yeah, going absolutely. back and forth. Oh, big kick there from Reza. Back in the clinch. I'm not sure why it's actually Reza engaging the clinch right now. He needs to stay on the outside. He needs to keep on landing those kicks. Oh, big kick again. Oh, but the one, two, three from Gabriel. Yeah, Reza's just throwing one shot right now. I feel like he needs to do more than that. Because of what Gabriel is producing mm. with those combinations. Ooh. But I do like that kick to the body. Yeah, I'm not sure if getting in the clinch but after that is... that's the risk you take, isn't it? By closing the distance like that. Shaking ahead there by Reza. Yeah, saying it's nothing. I'm... Yeah, he needs to stay focused. He yes, needs to stay in the game. That will not look good. Again, your posture, the way you stand, the way you hold yourself is very important in the eyes of the judges. Good sneaky right hand there. Oh, oh beautiful better. takedown from Reza. Definitely. Very good there yeah. by Reza. Looking at his corner, his corner is telling him to kick. Oh. Very close round. Good right kick there. Very close. Yeah, very <laughs> close. Ooh. Ooh, big elbow there by Razor. It seems like he could go either way right now, perhaps. This is an argument. Either fighter has won this round as well so yeah. far. Oh, oh, right now it's definitely going to be in the favor of Razor. A little bit of on the edge there. And oh, the takedown. He might get a warning though. Yeah, he telling. will for sure. He will for too. sure. Not really sure if that's allowed or not. That's the second time as well. Right kick to the body once again there by Reza. And a left kick. Gabriel. Very nicely done by the Iranian. <laughs> and there you have it. The end of the third and final round. We will go to the judgy scorecards to determine a winner. Once again here on this evening's RWS. Reza thinks he's done enough. Hand raised for the fighter who's fought ten times here on RWS. He's looking to pick up his fifth victory in his 11th bout fighting against some of the best in the world let's have a look at the highlights from that fight that knee elbow combo with round number one from Pereira doing a good job but round number two all three of the judges saw it in favor of the Brazilian and then of course in round number three Pereira had moments Rezar had great moments where he was thrusting kicks through the body and connecting Let's see what they say. We'll get the official decision by our MC in the ring. Is it going to go by to the Iranian? Is the Razor or will it go to the Brazilian Gabriel Pereira? We shall find out right now before we head into our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored is about 30 to 27. The second judge scored 29 to 28. And the last judge scored 29 to 28. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision! Yeah.